So 2022 is a universal six year. And in a lot of ways, this is gonna be slower paced. It's gonna be a lot calmer. It's gonna be a lot smoother. I think this year we're gonna see a lot more kindness and compassion as well. So for your um, actions and interactions with the world at large, you have the emperor. This is a year, Libra, for you to take charge. This is a year for you to really, in a lot of ways, you've got to put yourself forward, right? This is about being bold, daring, pioneering. It's about having the guts to go after what you want. There are going to be more than enough opportunities when it comes to the work, the profession this year. There are going to be plenty of opportunities for you to study this year, to gain some sort of new knowledge, new insight, uh, maybe even a new qualification or accolade will show up for you in some way, shape or form. It does look like as well this year you're going to be making some of your plans solid. For your finances and your money and materials you have the judgment card. So this comes up next to the emperor and in a lot of ways I kind of feel this year and we've had a lot of these these two cards come up um, and interestingly enough the finance sector for everybody has been a little bit interesting this year so this tells me that on the wider world stage we are going to see some big uh, possibly shocking developments on the financial level so interesting times now you have the judgment card when it comes to your finances your money and your resources this year it looks like you are making a big decision for some of you this will be the start in the business for some of you this is literally about spending money to go back to school for some of you this will be about buying a home in some way shape or form there is a big financial purchase on the horizon for you this is you making a big bold step when it comes to your money your finances and your resources uh, this um, new moon is going to be conjunct mercury retrograde but it's a dissociated conjunction uh, meaning that um, the orb is wide but they are quite close to each other. And when the reason we call it dissociated is because Mercury is gonna be in the sign next to yours, but it's gonna be close to the new moon, right? So um, in a way you can say that it's, it's not, it is a conjunction, but it's dissociated in some way, shape or form. Now, what do you need to know? Well, first of all, this is going to be a challenging new moon. I'm really sorry to say that, but I really want you to be aware. With that said, for your first card out that's just jumped right out of the deck, you have dun, 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 the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, right? This is beautiful. So the first card out kind of sets the tone or the energy for the year ahead for you. And in a lot of ways, the Wheel of Fortune is about luck, it's about success, it's about abundance, and it's also about being in the right place at the right time. So for your destiny card, you have the Fool, right? New things, places, people, and energy are showing up for you in the month of May. Now, what I will say to you, because it is the full, don't take anything for granted, 